So if you have an existing blend and you need to make some adjustments to it, maybe the color doesn't look quite right. And let me show you what I mean there. I'm gonna show you how to adjust blends in this video. So black and unity, excuse me. I'm gonna zoom out for here for a second. Let me get rid of my orange lines. And if you look at uh, these two blends, all right? So there's one right here, which is going from semi to, I'm sorry, fairway to semi rough. Okay, so our source is fairway. Our destination is semi. I know if I click away, this blend looks pretty darn good. Okay, can't really tell that there's a blend there. It's just kind of this fuzzy line. Now, on the other hand, I've got this blend going from semi to rough. And I feel like, and hopefully you can see it in the YouTube video, I feel like I can see that blend, which means there is a line on both sides, okay? Something's not quite right here. I see the blend. I shouldn't be able to really see a blend like that, in my opinion, okay? It's a little bit darker, and so it looks like a line. And hopefully you can see that in the video. So can we fix this? So let me show you a few things that you can try to tweak to resolve this. So when we highlight this blend, we can come over here into the blend shader, okay? So this oh, this is our OPCD four color vert shader. And then down in here, we have a couple different areas. We've got our red over, we got our channel overall colors, okay? So remember, we've got four channels in every material. We've got a red, green, blue, and black. So we've got our red, which is our source, our fam, fair, or our semi, sorry. We've got our destination material, which is black, which is our rough in this case, okay? And a little bit further down, or maybe I missed it, further up, oh, here we go. We've got our channel blends, okay, these. So these are the only areas that I would mess with for channel colors, okay, for adjusting the channels, and I'll show you why here in a second. So the channel blends and the overall color. So let me show you what channel blends do, and I know that Channel blends is not our problem here, but I at least want to show you what they do. A channel blend and the strength associated with them will push and pull these channels across the blend. So if I increase the red channel strength, it's going to push the red closer to the destination. So let me show you what I mean by that. So if I move this over, and you can see the red is the semi here. If I increase that, the semi gets pushed over to the right. Now it's going over the black, but you can't tell. So let me turn the black down and see what happens there. Now, since the red is turned all the way up to 10 and black is down to zero, we have essentially pushed the red channel all the way over to the other side of the blend so that this blend here is now all red. OK, and now we have a hard line. It's really not a blend anymore, OK, because it's all red. So let's come back over here and highlight this again. And let me show you a little trick here. If we never want to lose focus of this in our inspector, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit this lock button up here in the upper right. And now, no matter where I click, I'll always be on the inspector for this blend. So little trick there. So if I come back here and we got our black blend, now let me increase the black all the way up. And you can see now that the black is pushed all the way to the left, overtaking the red. Okay, so red's all the way down, black's all the way up. And now if I click away, you can see I have a hard line here because the black channel, which is our rough, okay, is pushed all the way to the semi. So the default spot for this, okay, is two and two, which pretty much balances these out. You can see when I bring this down, now you can play with this and get different looks, okay? You might want a harder kind of line there than you're getting with the typical blend, but I'm gonna put this right about there, which puts the black at 1.38, okay? Now this is gonna only impact this particular blend that we're working on. When I say this particular blend, that material. So wherever this blend is being used, this blend material, it will impact all those. So you don't have to go in and adjust every blend. Any blend, in my case, that is assigned this custom one that I created called Blend Semi-Rough to Rough, No More Lines, Default 1, this will be impacted any place that is assigned. Okay. Now, let me zoom out. Is this still not look, look quite right? It doesn't to me. It still looks like... To me, the rough area, the rough 
material of this blend is still a little too dark. So let's go back down here and look at our colors. And you can see I've got my red, green, blue, and black color. And you can adjust these. This is the overall color of the blend, okay? So I'm gonna highlight this, and I think it needs to be lightened up a little bit. So when I highlight and I click this little eyedropper area right here that, that's slightly gray, for some reason my mouse cursor isn't, highlighter isn't working great for some reason, sorry. Um, I can drag this, okay, up and down to lighten or darken this. Now you can see if I go over here, it starts turning red, which isn't what we want. But I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna drag this up to lighten it just a tad where I feel like it matches a little bit closer. And I think that's the best spot. Now let me click away. I like this, I'm gonna come back. So I, I want these orange lines. So I clicked away, I've got this locked. And now I'm gonna come back here to my black color. Actually, it looks pretty good where I've adjusted it before. So you can see if I go too dark, what happens? And if I go too light, what happens? I'm just gonna drag this down and get it where I think it's perfect, which is right about to me, yeah, right in between, right about there, I think. And now you can see when I zoom out, I no longer see that blend. I can't tell that it's present anymore, even though it's right here. But when I click away, I don't have that dark line. So hopefully it comes across in the video and you guys can see that, okay? Now, last thing is, I said, don't adjust any of these other areas in here. Why? Because they're actually tied to your source and destination materials. Recall that blends, okay, blend this alpha to this alpha. So let's go into this material here, and I gotta unlock. Remember, I'm locked on that blend, so let me unlock. And now I am into this other material, this OPCD Mosh No More Lines Default 1. This is something I created. And I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna do something a little bit drastic, something you normally wouldn't do. But if I'm changing these colors, so let me go to the overall color of this guy, and let me change the alpha here, and let me make it pretty red. Eee. It's ugly, but it's gonna serve a point here. So I'm gonna make this somewhat red. And now, okay, when I zoom in or I zoom out, I can see this blend is really wrong, okay? I got this hard line because it's using the old rough material. However, if I click on this, and remember, what did I forget to do? Well, I didn't do update materials. Now, if I update the materials, what happens? Well, it updates our scripted object, and now look what happened automatically our blend was updated too, okay? So now we've got that red that I added here, okay, in our blend material. So if I come down here in my blend, you can see that this was updated to this, okay? So our black now has that same red. So when you make changes to a main material on a main mesh, a non-blend material like this, and you use the update material button, it will push it to a correctly configured blend, which in this case is blending from my semi here to my no more lines default one, which is the material assigned here. It updates it for you, okay, which is great. So which is why I'm saying avoid making too many changes to the blend itself, okay? Because now let me go back to this one, this rough area. Let me go back down to my red color here. Let me change it back to something that's more palatable, like eh, right about there is pretty good. And let me come back up here and do update materials. Now my blend gets updated. Let me click away and zoom out. However, this, it went back and it's not quite matching again. I think this needs lightened. So I'm just gonna use this overall so here. And this is what I've seen overall is that for some reason, semi to rough tends to have this problem. Not exactly sure why, but it serves as a good example for you guys. And that's, that's actually too light. Let me adjust again. Uh, this one right here, Drag it down a little bit more. Is that better? Ah, it's too dark now. I'm gonna try locking this. So I don't like doing it with the orange lines in place because it's hard to see. Oops, I need to lock it while I'm highlighted the correct one. So I'm on this blend, 
lock this blend so it doesn't move out of it. Click over here, come down to this. Now let me adjust. There we go, much easier to see. I think that's the spot. Close that, zoom out, and I think that's maybe needs tweaked one more time, but that looks much better, okay? So that's adjusting your blends.